show, Geller always looks pretty great doing it, and that's probably the reason Buffy the Vampire Slayer has reached cult status. Sarah has made a name for herself as the heroine of this way out show, but there is no stopping this young star. Now she found a way onto the big screen as well. It's amazing. It's incredible. And, and the best part for me is that I'm doing work. I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. I've been working in this business since I was four years old. In 1981, at the ripe old age of four, Sarah Michelle Geller hit the scene selling hamburgers for Burger King. <laughs> Well, from burgers to bigger roles, Sarah built her career with bit parts on TV and stage. It was 1993 when she hit a big, landing her role as Kendall Hart on All My Children. And I know that my being there wasn't an insult to anyone, especially Mona. Sarah spent three years on the soap and even grabbed a daytime Emmy for her performance. Thank you. But it wasn't until 1997 when she was cast as Buffy in the WB series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, that people really started taking notice. As the high school student who slays vampires by night, Sarah flexes her comic muscle and her real-life martial arts muscle. She has a brown belt in Taekwondo that helps her in the outrageous fight scenes the show is famous for. Sarah loves kicking vampire butt and wants all her fans to know she will be throwing those killer kicks for a long time to come. I will definitely be back for a full season coming up and you, know, you take it year by year. I love the show. I'm not leaving anytime soon. There are rumors that I was quitting for a movie career, which is, you know, those rumors start everywhere and, and it's not true. I love my show. I love, I love being able to do both though. And she is juggling both TV and movies. In fact, Sarah feels fortunate that her role as Buffy brought her to the attention of producers who successfully cast her in two of the top grossing slasher films of 1997. She starred alongside Nev Campbell in Scream 2 and played a beauty queen opposite Jennifer Love Hewitt in I Know What You Did Last Summer. And Sarah feels fortunate to make movies that appeal to her generation. What's nice about the movies these days is they're giving something to young people that we didn't have before, and that's intelligence. They're three-dimensional, intelligent characters, and I think that's wonderful, and it's been a long time coming. And to be lumped with Nev and Love, it's great. I, I respect all of them. I love working with them. And, and the fact that we all do television and film, it just makes it that much better. So much so that Sarah has just finished shooting her fourth film, Cruel Inventions. I'm not used to fighting in short leather miniskirts and substantially high heels, so it's a little more difficult. She seems to be handling fighting and sexy lingerie just fine. In this remake of Dangerous Liaison set in the present day, Sarah takes on the challenge of love and seduction just fine. You're just a toy, Sebastian. A little toy I like to play with. It's hard to find characters that are more interesting than Buffy, and I got lucky with Christian characters this year. But if I couldn't find interesting female roles, I would just do my show and I wouldn't do movies in the hiatus. So far, so good for Sarah Michelle Geller. The future looks nothing but brilliantly bright for the 21-year-old star who says success is taking her by storm. The funny thing is that when it happens to you, you don't really have time to stop and think about it. Your life changes very quickly, and it's very hard to adapt to that change very quickly. You know, you try the best you can to keep your life the same, and basically my life is work, 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 and so you miss a lot of that. Now Sarah Michelle Geller is currently shooting a movie called Vanilla Fog with actor Sean Patrick Flannery. It is about a department store exec who tries to resist falling in love with a young woman because he believes she is possessed by magical powers. It sounds right up Buffy's alley.